There are three questions that I get asked over and over as we think about creating more influence in leadership, sales, and workplace interactions. Isn't it logical that since you are investing in your employees, since you're paying them, that they should be engaged, they should do what they're asked to do? Wouldn't it make sense that if you have the best product, the best service, that people would just buy it? Because it's the best, and they wouldn't need some kind of catchy marketing campaign to convince them. And if you're clear and direct when you speak, shouldn't people listen and respond well? What we don't realize is that as much as we want to believe it, the human brain isn't logical. It navigates and survives the world by making decisions in the fastest way possible. So to get predictable results, you need connection strategies that make the human element predictable. And when you prioritize this intangible thing called human connection, you'll see every measurable metric in your organization improve as a result. So I was introduced as a mentalist. I don't read minds, I read people. Now the human brain is science's most complex and interesting challenge. 86 billion neurons, hundreds of trillions of connections, and that type of stuff leaves us thinking that the humans we interact with every day are, are pretty unpredictable. But when you begin to see that the way that we are hardwired for human connection and trust, and when you see the specific actions and words that create these connections, then humans actually become quite predictable. And all of the research today points to this over and over and over. What would happen if every interaction that we went into, every sales appointment, every performance review, what would change if we prioritized human connection? Because if you want to move mountains, you've got to be able to move people. So I had a, a unique first career as a professional magician and I really believed that learning tricks and practicing the technical skill was gonna be the difference maker. And it just wasn't. It wasn't until I learned about and really understood the value and the power of human connection that my business changed and it changed to such a degree that I couldn't keep it to myself. So for the next 10 years and how I ended up here, is just sharing that message. I've worked with hundreds of organizations just like this one who value the importance of human connection and just want to be able to make it a priority and a focus and a tangible, actionable asset in their organization. If our goal is to create connection first, then suddenly outcomes change. When we decide to go from interacting to connecting, it makes all the difference in the world. There are still some people that human connection is not an intentional habit, but an afterthought. Let's change the order of that. Be a human, be vulnerable, be authentic, be funny, be you, be personable, because in business, personal beats professional. Things are not your perspective versus my perspective. What matters is human connection.